Welcome to Bridgeport Middle School. We are here at the ribbon cutting and open ceremony of our brand new facilities, not only here at the middle school, but also at the elementary and high school. So we wanna show you around the buildings and celebrate this awesome place. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> okay, that's a great segue. So, Tracy just told me that I probably should have lit up the new school, new scoreboard. It's really, we have Joe Harris, Rick Holt, Bill Alexander, Mike Holt, Stuart Gazella, and Dan Cavanini. Cavanini in the house. We should throw them all and have a turn. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to welcome the community, school board, staff, alumni, friends, and delegates. I'd like to start with a big thank you to our voters for making this happen. Thank Woo! you. I'd also like to thank our staff for set up and planning. April and Chris for baking cookies this morning. You can smell the cookies. <laughs> so I know I probably shouldn't talk too long this morning because that is making me a little hungry. <laughs> uh, I'd also like to thank Chartwells. They are our food group that provides food to our school district um, for the donation of all the cookie dough. So that's that's uh, just a big thank you for that. At this time, I'd like to introduce our delegates um, from our community and our region. So first, I'd like to start with introducing Matt Straub, our county commissioner. Mark Straub. Mark. <laughs> I'd also like to introduce Michelle Price, our ESD once again. <laughs> Kevin Morris, our Douglas County Sheriff. <laughs> Derek Miller is from Architects West. <laughs> I'd also like to introduce Randy Hurley. He is our retired maintenance supervisor. Since he's up here, Bill Alexander inserted himself right in the middle of our board, so I want to introduce him as well. Thank you. Okay, so this project started with a vision of our school board. So this, is, this and past school board leaders had the courage to say, this time we need to invest in our future. So I just, I just wrote a statement here, there is no better time. There is no better investment than investing in our future and our kids. So thank you school board for that. And I'd like to introduce each one of you, starting with our board chair, Tracy Zahn. <laughs> board members, Matt West. <laughs> Maggie Ochoa. Wayne Manswell, and Benny Bulbos. I also would like to recognize previous board members that were involved in this project, um, starting with Rick Alterman, Jamie Jenkins, and, and Zeke Martinez.
all eight of these board members recognize the need to run a bond and take care of overcrowding in all three buildings. And we believe that's why this bond passed, that we took care of needs at every grade level, and that was most important. And so thank you, board members, for that vision, and thank you, voters, for the bond. I'd also like to recognize the crew that designed, built, and managed this project. So starting with Architects West, and I already introduced Derek Miller, but I'd also like to recognize Jared Smith and the leader, Ed Champagne. You guys can stand up and give us a wave. <laughs> From Construction and Services Group, Karen Soderquist and Dolly Graminger. And I'm not sure if I saw anybody from T.W. Clark. Is T.W. Clark in, in the gym? T.W. Clark is the contractor that, that did the work of the building, so thank you to him. So today is not only about the open, opening of new facilities, but it's also about community. Bringing folks together to share this amazing place, but equally as important, is remembering and honoring the past. If you're a past administrator for the Bridgeport School District, would you please stand up and give us a wave? Past. If you're a past teacher or employee of the Bridgeport School District, please stand and be recognized. Last but not least, if you're a current employee of the Bridgeport School District, please stand and be recognized. I'd also like to introduce our current administrators, Tamara Jackson, Bridgeport High School. <laughs> Hannah Kaufman, Middle School Principal. Jessica Macy, elementary principal. <laughs> and our special programs director, Diane Hall. <laughs> One former superintendent sent me a message to read this to the crowd. Superintendent Salad, I write to congratulate you, your staff, and the Bridgeport community on hearing the news of Bridgeport Middle School's grand opening ribbon cutting ceremony on February 22nd. While I'm unable to, to attend in person, I will certainly be attending in spirit. Many of my most treasured memories of school and community were those years shared in Bridgeport. I still speak and share stories of the accomplishments of Bridgeport students and staff as inspirational models of educational success to listening groups as I pre present in New Mexico and around the nation. The collaborative culture and embracement of diversity of parents, community, and school for which Bridgeport is known serves as a model for the nation to celebrate. As you commence with the ribbon cuttings of Bridgeport Middle School, I ask that you share my pride for what a determined and focused school system can accomplish on a continuous improvement journey to excellence. Well done. To celebrate, I ordered a Washington State flag to be flown over the Capitol building in Olympia today. Fly this flag with pride, Dr. Gene Schmidt. Okay, so many people have come up to me and said over the years, oh, I went to elementary in that building. Or that room used to be the science room or that older boiler room was scary. <laughs> I think it was a smoke room at one time. Last time. I remember coaching in, the old, in this old building one Saturday morning, and you could hear the pipes creak, creaking at the end of the hallway, or the windows rattling in a windstorm. Some people thought it was haunted. I don't know. Uh, 
One time we had a thunderstorm. This is just recently in the last few years. We had a thunderstorm and a flash flood hit the area, came down the back sidewalk, flooded the back door, and flooded the entire hallway. So, as you can see by walking in the front front entrances, things have changed. That will no longer happen. <laughs> Uh, I could go on and on with stories about this place, and I'm sure you can, and I, I want to encourage you to share those stories as you reminisce and, and, and walk around the building. Uh, the middle school is mostly complete. We still need to finish the kitchen and the locker room. You still see the blue tape over here? We have a little tile work to do over in this corner still. So if you're walking around and you see some blue tape, please don't. That's part of the punch list, and we need to finish those things. Um, it could be just a little speck of paint that we need to touch up. Um, you'll also notice that the school is branded with our logo and at night. If you drive by here at night, it is well lit up. You can see the Mustang from across the river. Um, it's, it's just amazing. Um, you'll notice that the landscaping is not bad. Um, that will happen in the spring. With the weather that we've been having, hopefully that's going to happen soon. All buildings will have a secure entryway to limit folks from walking right into the school without checking in. It's really a safety measure. And overall, the classrooms are spacious. They're lit up with LED lighting. We could even shut the lights off in a basketball game and they'd pop right back on. We're going to have to have a wait. It happens, yes. <laughs> So the buildings are, are well lit, the classrooms are well lit, it is a, it is a great learning environment and we, we have started moving kids in and we started having classes this week in the, in the building, so you'll notice that. If things are not exactly tidy, it's because we're moving, we're moving in and the kids are excited about it, the teachers are excited about it, maybe a little overwhelmed but they are excited about it. Um, in the buildings, they have all the modern features. So as you gather around for coffee today, cocoa and cookies, served in the middle school cafeteria, take time to reminisce, enjoy each other's company, and enjoy the new facilities. Tracy and Matt, if you would come forward and hold the ribbon for, for the ribbon cutting. Our ASB middle school president, he is our ASB president. He will have the honors of cutting the ribbon. Wait, 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 wait. I don't trust me to see Yeah, Cesar. Cesar, go around. It looks like he's about to stab someone. Oh. <laughs> Okay, wait. This is a photo op. We do have the rest of the house. So. All right. So this ribbon cutting marks the official opening of Bridgeport Middle School and the additions at the elementary and the high school. Please cut the ribbon. With that, I, I want to I want to invite you to step into our new middle school cafeteria. This is something we haven't had in many, many years. So enjoy the new cafeteria. Feel free to walk around the buildings. Um, you can go out the back door and go up the sidewalk to the to the back of the high school this way um, and check out the new addition there. You're welcome to go over to the elementary school and. and Look at the new addition there. Please just fill around, enjoy each other's company, and thank you for coming today. So I'm going to take you on a tour of the building and show you around.
Inside here is going to be our uh, nurses clinic and sick room for kids that need to come and uh, get help physically. Our wonderful principal, Hannah Coughlin, is her office. Down the hallway here, no school is complete without ISS rooms. This is our office, uh, our awesome conference room where we can hold meetings. And this has got to be probably the best work room and production room that I've ever had in all my years working at Bridgeport. Right here is our counselor's office. And down the hallway here, we have our staff lounge. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we'll have a big table in here where we can all and sit around and that. enjoy each other's I company during lunch and breaks. breaks. You got to take the speech out first. I'm going to read it. So I'm going to make out a fake one. Real We're thing. back out in the main hallway. We're going to take a look at the gym and the commons area. The boy of yours has had his eyes on him since last winter. But the thing is, see this one right here? Yeah. I'll be mean, too cold. I'm waiting for that one. I have a feeling we're never going to get in here for this carrot. Are you waiting for that? So in the gym here, they uh, did all new paint, resurfaced the floor, brand new scoreboard, brand new bleachers. They even changed the ceiling tiles, brand new lighting, pipes. It is absolutely amazing. So here at this end of the gym, we have the boys' locker room this way and girls' locker room this way. And out this door and to the left, you'll find the commons, cafeteria area and kitchen, which we did not have in the old building. Here on the wall, you will see all these old beams and they have sayings on them. These were salvaged from the original building and they were actually beams of, that were in the hallway, the main hall. And it was the one most important thing that we wanted to save to commemorate our old building. Cookies and coffee for the event. <laughs> I just noticed that, okay? I'm blind. Okay. 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 So we're going to turn the corner here and see the main hallway and these were all the classrooms were housed. Okay. And grab hard. What do you think? I so 
here on this end of the hall, we have our sixth grade classrooms. It was fun. It was just draining. And down on the other end, we'll have some of the big grade classrooms. It is connected to the sixth grade science room and has plenty of storage here. So here at the end of the hall, we have our ELA room and we have my classroom. I teach middle school math and fiction. This is the uh, seventh and eighth grade language arts room. And this is a normal size classroom. My, uh, I, since I teach middle school math intervention, I have the intervention room, so slightly smaller, but still plenty of space to work with small groups. special education room. You can go up the sidewalk and access the back of the high school where the new addition for the high school is. And across campus, we'll take a look at the elementary yeah, school. This is the lady who couldn't come into my coffee shop. So we um, still have one of our portables here. It's one of our nicer ones, though. And we have two more classrooms out here, a technology room and our social studies class. And over behind my shoulder, you'll see a large uh, concrete slab area. That is our new outdoor patio. So students will have the option of eating indoors or outdoors, which has never been done before either. It's pretty exciting. The new high school edition. These are two new classrooms that are going to be used by high school classes and a new music room that will be used by our middle school and high school students. Everything's still being worked on, so it's not quite finished, but once it is finished, it will be amazing. 
We have the same uh, themes going on in the uh, other editions, just like the middle school. Same car themes, same colors, same whiteboard projectors. That's all fun. Bring home play. That's right. That was. Oh, these are nice. He just got this. I've got a can of it. So this large room will be the new music room. This will be used by all of our seventh through 12th graders for band, mariachi, choir, and it is going to be amazing when it gets done. And here we have the new addition of our elementary school building. Let's take a look inside. This is our office area, so we have our secretaries, building principal, conference room, etc. It's a little bit smaller than I have had, but it's not terrible. That, see, nobody understands. I was the own, well, I guess Tammy, but she at least... So the new addition here houses our new elementary music room and new uh, special education room, as well as three fifth grade classrooms. This right here is a new conference room. And again, the same theme and colors throughout the building. Yes. Oh, you stand up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Hi there. And the elementary also got a new workroom, which is much improved from what they used to have. So where are all these? Where are all these teachers now? Like, or where have they been? They, they were in the gym. They were in the gym. Going from you know, outside all the time. All the time. Oh, no matter you know, the weather. Even he would come in. You know, car hearts and work, <laughs> long underwear and, mm -hmm. you know, happy coats and, you know, uh, a smile. Because this room here is our special around. education room. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. 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 This is so great. Right, this is so exciting. This is a bee, a small bee.